It's time for a Slammiversary! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Slammer! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have some lovely artwork here of a Slammer in his robot mode, in his tank mode, Transformers Kingdom, Transformers. On this side of the box, we have the lovely Kingdom artwork. Back on this side, he is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class, a Class of Deluxe. Up top, for Cybertron Trilogy. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the uh, card slash sticker, and I got Dinobots! Again, how many Dinobots do I have? I've lost counts, but at least I got a different outcome here. We have a uh, Dinomus! There we go. At least I got something different for the card. Hooray for stickers and cards! And moving right along, here we have Slammer, the newest deluxe in this Kingdom line. And yes, we have the, uh, I believe the final uh, sidekick for Metroplex here, which is quite cool. So yes, here he is in his robot mode. Now, Slammer did not originally have a robot mode, but he has one now, and I think, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, as getting closer, so we can take a look not at his giant, big, blocky, beefy chest, but at that noggin. There's that big, blocky, beefy noggin. You can see, just white for the head. Nice blue for the visor. You got some silver in there as well. And he's just got a big old stocky chest Autobot symbol right there. You got some black as well. And a lot of nice molded detail. Got a big old cannon right there with some silver on the barrel. Your cozies. Your legs have missile racks because why not? And move up the back. You got the uh, treads hanging out. Oh no. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint to get a little bit of wiggly-waggly due to his boxy head. You can look up a bit, you can use that transformation joint to do total squirrel. You can look down a little bit, head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You got bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, you don't have any wrist rotation because his hands are just molded into this piece. Um, you do have waist rotation. Um, you do have kind of some arching back and using the transformation joint I and mean, you can use that as an ab crunch if you want to things you can do if you want to do it legs can move forward about that far can move back if you work around the treads can move back about that far outward he does the full splits and then some you got thigh rotation you have nice full range of movements there at the knees as far as the feet go no up and down but you do have some ankle tiltage now as far as accessories go i mean he does have the uh the cannon here on his arm that is a separate piece and uh that's pretty much it what you see is what you get slammer basically is an accessory really when you think about it but he is also blues compatible that's right he is blues compatible you can plug this into his cannon. It actually is a little loose. There's no real friction there. It's a loose, it's a loose bloosh. It's a little loose bloosh. Anyway, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a loose bloosh. You can't really, it doesn't really stay. You don't want to get any friction there on the bloosh, but we're going to try, we're going to try to do it anyway. We're going to try to make it work. We're going to try to make it work. There we go. We can do a big old slamming bloosh. Slam! So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. So you can see how that works out. And let's bring in the other boys here from Team Metroplex. Here we have Scamper. Here we have Six Gun. So you can see those three together, and. How does it scale with Metroplex? Well, here's how they scale with Metroplex. They're just little guys. Little. Hi. 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 There he is. There he is. There you go. 
So that is pretty much it for the robot mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's! So, to begin the transformation, we're going to start uh, ripping them apart. What? Parts forming! Shh. Yes, parts forming! Where have you been the last two years? That's what these guys do! Come on now, come on now. Anyway, I'm gonna remove the cannon here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring his arms out. You wanna rotate them down and then bend at the elbow. Rotate down, bend at the elbow. Then you're just gonna rip his arms off and rip his arms off. Oh, it's just, it's a, it's a massacre. Rip off his backpack. <laughs> then we're gonna rip off his legs. And there we go. So as far as the legs go, we're just going to flip in the thigh. We're going to open up the foot as far as it'll go. Second verse, just like the first, flip that in, open that up. There you go. That's ready to go. You want to take the two arms here and the shoulders will tab together right there like so. Then you're going to take this and this will plug into the tread section. Like that and then you're going to bring in the legs and they will peg in onto these posts right here on either side so just plug it in plug it in and plug it in plug it in like that and once you have done that you want to remove this little section here and this will plug in right here to keep that together like that, and then you can take the cannon, and that will plug onto that, and there you have your turret, and then you just shift all of this uh, forward and down, so it sits where turrets should sit, just like that. Then we bring in the main body, we turn his head around, flip it down, and all of this will plug onto these two posts right here. Again, just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, get on nice and frozen. You want to take the waist, turn that around, and then all this will collapse down up into the tank body like that. And there you go. There you have Slammer in his alt mode. Get a good little spin out of him. There he is. There he is in his little tank mode. And very reminiscent of his G1 self. I do quite like it with a little bit extra, with a little extra style also. But I dig it below. It's getting closer. So we can take a look at the details. Getting got the nice silver there on the barrel. You got some nice silver paint apps on the inside of the treads there. You got some silver up top of the turrets. And it all comes together quite, quite nicely. I like it. There is the top, there is the bottom. He does have the little rolling wheels. So you can kind of roll as rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. And now for comparison. Uh, here he is with Prime. And here he is with Scamper. He's a little guy. And here he is with Six Gun. And here he is with G1 Slammer because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Just a whole lot of nothing, but still precious. So one thing I wanted to show off here is um, on the Hasbro live stream, um, they did show off like a tower mode that you could put on Metroplex. And I figured I'd show that off even though I don't quite know how it works, but you know, um, all you want to do is just rip off his arms. Let's put that off to the side. They're actually not using that, at least they're not, they didn't use it from what I saw anyway. I just saw the pictures online and didn't actually watch the live stream, so if they did explain how, this, how exactly this works, I, I don't know. So if you guys know, you can tell me. But um, they just rotated all of this up like that. They turned that around so the pretty side is facing forward. And then the cannon plugged onto there like that. And that's basically what they had going on there, and it doesn't want to stand. That, that, <laughs> that's basically what they had as far as like a tower mode. So I'll bring in Metroplex real quick. Okay, so here's Metroplex again. Now I don't have him all transformed because you know, it's not necessary, but um, in the pictures, he was just sitting like right here. And I don't know if he's actually supposed to like connect in any way. I'm not too sure. I, I really don't know because there's nowhere for him to plug in. Like there are little ports here, but 
all these ports are too small like these screw holes here are too big like there's nowhere for him to actually plug into it looks like he was just just sitting there like that so i hey things you can do if you want to do it i guess you can figure something out as always it's your toy display it however you wish so there you go now as far as uh, articulation in tank mode goes uh the turret can you know and move up and down you kind of angle that if you want to uh you can turn it a little bit but then things start to come undone so there's not too much movement with the turret just really some up and down but hey things you can do but now let's show off his weaponizer armonizer i'm gonna plug myself onto another bot anizer mode and to do that we again just have to kind of just start ripping them apart here so remove this release move all this you want to bring this entire assembly up like that. And that's going to sit like that. Then just take these posts and bring them out. And that is pretty much done. You want to remove the barrel. Remove this piece. Like so. You want to remove legs. Take these off and take that off. And these will first collapse in the foot. Collapse in the foot, and now these will plug into the sides of this, like so. This will be just kind of a missile launching backpack. So you got that going on. Uh, you want to remove the arms, and what you're going to do here is you're going to split this, and you're going to swap the shoulders. So that's going to go to that, and that's going to go to that. So just plug that in, and then this is going to rotate out i believe and that's how that's going to sit and same to the other side second verse just like the first just bring that out and that will sit like that then you remove the treads from this section here and these will connect via this tab and you use this section here plug all that together and there you have that and lastly you take the cannon and that will plug on to this post right here like that and that's how you have everything so now we'll bring in our lovely spokes model we'll bring in wheel jack since this is who they use in the instructions we'll go with jackie here and the instructions do show you taking his wings off so i took the wings off i guess you don't have to i guess you can leave the wings on that nah, i'll leave them off do what you want. As always, do what you want. Do what you want. It's yours. Do whatever you wish. We're going to take the backpack here. That will plug in like so. It will plug in where backpacks plug in. Then you take these bits here. These will plug into the bottoms of his feet. That will give him uh, things on his feet. <laughs> They're just things on his feet now. There you go. He's got some stilts now. Make him a little taller. Why not? Dare I say why not? Then you take this. That plugs into his one forearm, kind of looks like a, looks like a chainsaw weapon kind of deal. Then you take this, that will plug into the other forearms. Now he has a cannon, and there you go. There you have Jackie all armored up with Slammer. And that looks pretty cool. I can work with that. I can work with that. But of course, you can plug this stuff on however you want. You can come up with any configurations you want. You have ports like all over the place. So you can do as you wish this is just the one configuration they show you in the instructions but as always you can do whatever you want so the only limit is your imagination so there you go so there you have slammer and yeah i love these weaponizer style dudes i think they're really fun i know some people don't like them because parts forming worst toy ever but you know what i think these guys are really fun they have a ton of play value you can use them to arm up your other figures. I mean, just a lot of fun to be had here with these guys. This is a play pattern that I really enjoy, and I personally hope they keep doing it. And also, we finally completed Team Metroplex. So, hey, that's another bonus. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Kingdom figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Kingdom playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well.
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Slammer. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud. Palm in your face. No, it's me. No, it's me. No, me. All right, all right, what's going on here? We're arguing over which one of us is Metroplex's favorite. No, oh, are you kidding? That's easy. None of you are his favorites. I'm his favorite. You know why? Because he heeds the call of the last prime. None of you can even rise. Though he makes a valid point. Shut up. <laughs>